We invite children to come forward to get a chance to move out of your seat. Come sit over here. This message is designed for you. It's our children's sermon. You get to come over to this construction zone area because at St. Paul this fall, our preaching theme is works in progress. So when I think of a work in progress, I think of some construction, some digging, some new building in mind. I'm glad that you're all here. So we are works in progress. Today's gospel tells us that again. Just like last week, we hear the disciples, so the followers of Jesus, and they're asking questions, they're unsure, they make mistakes, they are works in progress. Today we hear the disciples answering a question when Jesus says, well, who do people say that I am? And the disciples say, well, some say this and some say that and some say that. They don't, they don't feel like they really know. And so they're wondering, they're a little unsure. Their work's in progress. Well, we are too, because we're like those disciples. And we are too, disciples following Jesus. We're works in progress. We'll have questions, we'll be unsure, we'll make some mistakes. So to find, though, that good work that Jesus does for us, we're going to dig deep into the text that we just heard, into that gospel lesson. And we're going to dig deep by what we're thinking about, but we're really going to dig deep. I mean, literally. Patrick here today is going to do some digging. There is a wheelbarrow over here in our construction site full of rocks. And Patrick is the kid today who's going to dig in there to help us dig deep into the word. So Patrick, the first blueprint envelope that we're looking for today to learn more about Jesus' good work is envelope number one. So dig on in there, and there, he might find envelope number two or number three, but we want number one first. Might get a little noisy. Dig in there, Patrick. He's going to find a blueprint with a number one on it. And inside the envelope is the good work that you will share with us today. In the gospel today, Jesus does a good work when he gathers the crowd to hear his good words. Jesus picks up our cross and follow him. This is hard work, but Jesus did the hardest work on the cross. He suffered and rose for us. Thank you, Patrick. Yeah, that is the good news. The hard work that Jesus did, he did on the cross, and he did it for us so that we too can follow him. And that's part of the gospel we hear today. Patrick, we're going to dig deep again. We want envelope number two, our blueprint number two. This will be our prayer. So Patrick's going to dig in. Go ahead. Don't be afraid to move those rocks around. And our next envelope will be a prayer that Patrick will lead us in. And we'll repeat after Patrick. Let us pray. Dear God. Dear God. We are works in progress. We are works in progress. Help us follow you. Help us follow you. Amen. Amen. Now, there's one more thing. Hearing the good news, saying a prayer to God, I also want you guys to take something home so that all your days of the week you can be thinking about this good news and the good work of Jesus. So, Patrick's going to dig in there one more time for envelope number three, and that is a gift for you. You can collect all the gifts that we're giving this fall. If you weren't here last Sunday, there's even a basket right there from the coins that we gave away last week. You can take one of those home if you didn't get one. Patrick, go ahead and dig in for envelope number three. It's a gift for you guys this week. It's a tattoo, so you can take it where there's some water so that it sticks to your skin if you want. And all of our gifts are about being works in progress in Jesus. So I'll have, how about Ez? Do you mind helping Patrick pass out the tattoos? You can take one of those, boys and girls. You can take a kid's bulletin. I'll put them over here. And again, there's last week's gift over there. So come on up and take those things back to your seat as we continue to worship. <laughs> 